This video will cover long run production costs. Remember that the short run and the long run are not specific amounts of time. The short run is a period in, it, in which at least one of your resources is fixed. So the size and capacity of your factory cannot change. In the long run, all resources are variable. There's no fixed resources, and the size and capacity of your factory can change. So long run is used for planning for firms to identify which size factory results in the lowest per unit cost. So this question, um, pause it, and the answer would be D. Assume that you run a factory and produce TVs. If you double all your inputs, what three things are go going to happen? If, you, if your output more than doubles, then you have increasing returns to scale. If your output doubles, then you have constant returns to scale. And if your output less than doubles, you have decreasing returns to scale. Notice that returns to scale is only looking at production, not costs. So here's a practice question, and the answer is A. What happens to the average total cost of a product when a firm increases its plant capacity? Examples of various plant sizes. I make looms out of my garage with one saw. I rent out a building, I buy five saws, and I hire three workers. I rent a factor, I buy 20 saws, and I hire 40 workers. I build my own plant, and I use robots to build the loom. I create plants in every major city in the U.S. The long-run average total cost curve is made up of all the different short-run average total cost curves of various plant sizes. Why do economies of scale occur? Firms that produce more can better use mass production techniques and specialization. So an example would be a car company that makes 50 cars will have a very high average per cost. But a car company that can produce 100,000 cars will have a low average cost per car. Using mass production techniques like robots, will cause your total cost to be higher, but the average cost for each car will be significantly lower. The long run average total cost falls because mass production techniques are used. With constant returns to scale, the long run average total cost is as low as it can get. And if you have diseconomies of scale, the long run average costs increase as the firm gets too big and difficult to manage. So this graph shows a bunch of short run average cost curves. Where would the long run average cost curve be? Essentially, it's the sum of all of the short run average total cost curves. So the long run average total cost curve looks like this. You have economies of scale when the long run average cost curve is decreasing, constant returns to scale here, and finally diseconomies of scale here. The law of diminishing marginal returns does not apply in the long run because there are no fixed resources. And a practice question? The answer is D.